Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Donna. Today's video was a little bit out of the ordinary for me. I am making some junk journal pocket pages for a recipe junk journal that I'm making. I'm not doing a voiceover for this one. It's a lot easier to explain what I'm doing uh, as we go along for this particular project. Now you may have seen my other video where I showed how I made the cover and these are going to be part of the signatures. So here we go and I hope you enjoy. So I've been making a recipe junk journal. You may have seen the cover that I made for it already, but now I'm working on doing some of the pages for it. And what I decided I needed is I wanted lots of pockets for, because I want the, most of the recipes to be on recipe cards or journaling cards of some sort. So I wanted pockets. So I came up with these pockets made out of an atlas, atlas pages. I got this atlas at a long time ago at a thrift store for a few bucks. And so I'm gonna make some pockets. I'm gonna have a pocket in the front and then there's gonna be a pocket in the back. These are each, I'm, I want five of them. I have four here, so I'm gonna make one more. I want five of them because my journal's gonna have five signatures and I want this to be the center piece. And what's going to happen is I'm actually going to sew it in. When I sew in the journal, it's, it's going to be sewn in here. But then when I glue it shut to make the pocket, the, the thread's going to be hidden. Not that that was a big deal for me, but it just, it just was convenient that it worked out that way. I might decorate them a bit on the outside, but for now I'm just going to leave them like they are. Okay, so I started with a this atlas, this is a Reader's Digest atlas, is huge. And I took out some of the pages. It's very outdated, so it's not like, I don't feel bad about cutting it up because it is very, very out, outdated. And I need one sheet for each page. These sheets are about 17 inches long by, oh, 10, 10 and a bit wide. So they work out awesome. So I'm going to take this sheet and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score the first uh, page. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, kind of. So I'm going to score at five and a half because my pages are five, uh, well, 11, but they're cut in half. They're or folded in half. They're going to be at five and a half. So that's the first one. I'm going to fold it over. Move it back to, yeah, I know it's hard to see because I don't have a lot of space in here, but it's on the edge. Flip it up and then I'm going to score it again at five and a half. And then that one's going to be folded back. It really is simple. I'm going to do a second one in a second, see if I can get it in the frame a little bit better. And now we need to cut. Because obviously I don't need it to be that wide or that deep. Okay, so first I need it to be eight and a half inches tall. But this back pocket, I don't want the back pocket that, that uh, wide. So I'm gonna just simply cut off an inch. Could have also done this first, didn't really matter. And now I have something that looks like that. Now I'm simply going to take this pot, this front sheet, so this is the front of it, and fold it down to the crease. As close to that as I can get. But I don't want to overlap it because I want it to be able to fold nicely. I'm just going to burnish all those folds. Okay, so that's the basic shape, but I I am going to just, you could probably just use a glue stick because I just want to tack this part down. It doesn't really matter if you do or you don't because it's, it's a pocket, but I want to make sure it stays flat. So I am just going to tack it down. You could probably just use a glue stick even for this because it's not, it's not like something that's going to go somewhere. And then on the back flap, I'm just going to put glue on these two pieces so that it 
forms the pocket. And then once the piece is sewn in, or my signatures are sewn into the book, then I will go back and glue here and here. It might be a little bit awkward, but that's the only way I can do it because otherwise if I, if I glued it now, I wouldn't be able to sew them. So after that's in, sewn in, I will glue right down here and right across here, which will form the pocket up here for me to put in a recipe card. And then on the back, there will be one going this way. And that's it, but let me do another one. Okay, so I'm with my scoreboard. I, I'm putting my rough edge, try to get it closer. My rough edge is on this side. See if that helps a little bit. So my rough edge is on this side. And then I'm going to score at five and a half. Pull that over at the full at the crease. Bring it back down and just lift it up so I can see the five and a half. And then score it at five and a half again. And then this one I'm going to fold backwards. paper trimmer and I'm going to cut it at eight and a half and again this flap this flap is way too big to make it like it would it's just way too big or a lot bigger than I need and I only so I'm going to just take off an inch to make it a little bit not so big Again, I'm just going to fold this over to the center fold. Burnish all these folds. And then I'm going to glue this down. You could also do this with any other type of big sheets of paper. You could also do it with, when you do it smaller too, it's not going to really matter if that's what suits your journal that you're making. And then glue these, just these two little sides. There we go. So this is ready to be sewn in and again all I will do once it's sewn in is glue it here and here to form the pockets. Like so and like so. I could even possibly put a smaller pocket on the front for a smaller tag or journal card at the front. So there we go. Those are actually that's I think I made six now. are my center of my signatures ready for my recipe journal when I get around to doing the rest of it. I still need quite a few pages to get together but I think this is a good start. This gives me a starting point and an idea of what I probably make these pockets out of um, I don't know, some tea dyed paper or something else as well because they're perfect for what I'm, my purposes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and hit that bell icon if you'd like to be notified next time I post another video. Thanks for watching.